welcome back to my channel Shedman Read. Today I'll be doing something that I've not done in literally forever it feels like and that is a 24 hour readathon. So I've been dying to do one for so long so I feel like June has not been very good. Um, if by this point my May wrap up should be up and I've mentioned this in that video about just how I don't know this month I've been I didn't have two books already this month and it's just been kind of slow process for me um just reading just not in the mood but now I feel like I just finished two books well I finished one and I'm in the middle of another one they're both like really good reads so now I'm just like you know what I just really want to continue this stride and see if I can just read more books over this weekend so the whole goal is to read 24 hours I don't really have a set TBR per se um I do have a few things I want to read um uh, mostly like my current reads my TBRs and then anything else that just strikes my fancy but I do have a lot of things I want to do this weekend because it is Father's Day weekend I have like a family meal tomorrow like a brunch um, I have a doctor's appointment. I want to cook up some food this weekend. I want to make some like bake some bread, banana bread. I want to just, I have a few recipes I want to try out. So there's a lot of stuff I want to do uh, personally. So that's what I was kind of like, should I do a readathon this week? But I was in the mood. So here we are doing a readathon. But since I am quite busy this week, I might extend it to 48 hours. I haven't really decided yet. It really depends on how much I read, at least for the first 24 hours. So Let's go over the books that I am hoping to finish during this time or like get started, whatever. The first book that I am currently reading actually is Head Over Heels by Hannah Orenstein. This book is super freaking cute. It's basically about this like ex-gymnast. Uh, she was at the Olympic trials and she got this huge injury and basically cost her her Olympic dream. And at that point she was like basically too old. She was 19 years old that she couldn't do the four years after one. Uh, by that point she was like 23 and it was just like too much to compete against, you know, people who were like 13 or 14 years old and since then she's been kind of struggling mentally face depression obviously uh just getting her life back together trying to figure out what to do next and now she ended up moving back to town because she ended up breaking up with her long-term boyfriend and at this point it's about seven years later so she's been doing things since then obviously uh but she moved back into her hometown into her parents place and kind of just very depressed over what happened that she broke up her boyfriend etc and now she has an opportunity to be become a part-time coach to a gymnast who actually has Olympic potential. So she's now there training this girl called Haley alongside Ryan who is the other coach and it's just freaking adorable so far. I'm really enjoying it. I'm basically about like two thirds of the way done. I'm on flying through. I'm actually listening to an audiobook and it's just so freaking cute. Like I love it. So yeah, I'm like really happy. This is why I have this book. I'm like just having a good time right now. Then the next few books on my TBR are like tentative I want to say. The first book I want to read is Language of Thorns by Leigh Bardugo. If you had watched my June TBR video this is a book on there so I do want to read it. Um, I feel like this book will be pretty fast. I'm hoping to finish it by tonight to be honest so here's hoping that will happen but I'm excited for it. I'm kind of daunted by anthologies. I'm not really good at short stories but I really do love this world so I'm excited to get back into it. Next book that I'm hoping to pick up is actually an audiobook. I actually have it in the library right now and that is I'll Be the One by Lila Lee. This book is another contemporary. I realized that I think I'm just better off reading contemporaries or like listening to them so I just find them so much more. I don't have to go like I don't have to focus as much because I don't have to learn a whole new world or like a magic system or something like that that usually like fantasy or sci-fi books usually requires me to so that's why I'm like, maybe that's why I just need to pick up more contemporary books as audio forms. Uh, so anyways, this is the next audio book that I hope to pick up. And yeah, all I know is that this is a be about the world of K-pop. Uh, and it's about this girl who's like trying to join the world of K-pop. But the thing is she doesn't really fit with their beauty standards. She is considered fat for k-pop so i guess this book just follows that and her's like super adorable so i'm excited for it the next book and last book that i'm hoping to read don't think i'll finish it it's house of dragons by jessica clueless i have heard some things about this book i mean no let me rephrase i have heard great things about the book in general i've heard negative things about the author um i also heard that there is no sequel even though there's supposed to be a sequel and that is also why i'm a little bit hesitant to pick up this book now because i'm like they apparently canceled it but I did hear or saw that they are still being sold in like Australia or something and I'm like if this book is really good like I'm it's gonna be hard for me to get a copy of the sequel so 
that's why I'm kind of like, I don't know. But I am still going to read it because it's actually a book club pick. So I should probably pick this up as soon as possible. And it's already mid-June. So these are basically the four books that I am hoping to pick up during this readathon. Honestly, I have pretty high hopes I've managed to finish this one. And then I managed to finish this one. And the next two, I'm not really sure. But because I am cooking a lot, I have higher hopes of finishing this one than I do of this one. So anyways, we'll just see. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to start the readathon at 9 p.m. It's currently a little bit after 8. Um, so yeah, it's Friday night. And I have some things I want to get done first before I actually start the readathon. But when it actually starts, I'm excited for it. I also do plan to watch some K-dramas. Um, I've been like on and off recently of like k-dramas and just like not be in the mood but i just started a new one called startup and it's so cute i watched two episodes already and i'm just like in love like in love with the characters and love with the storyline i mean i love spate like Susie bay like she's always one of my favorite actresses so i was excited for her drama uh she's like the main lead main female lead so anyways i'll talk back in later and hopefully i will watch some of that and then pick up language of thorns and then we'll go from there and see what happens. But I'm hoping to read a lot this weekend. Like, really, fingers crossed. So since I have started the readathon, I haven't made so much progress, but I did manage to finish the first story of this one, which I am really enjoying. I also did manage to listen to a little bit more of the audiobook, but I am super exhausted. I'm going to sleep now. And yeah, I cannot do like a 24 hour readathon with like actually being up the entire time. But I will talk more in depth tomorrow morning when I actually wake up and have like a more coherent thought because I am exhausted just from work and everything. So yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with a more thorough update. But so far, I'm enjoying both books. Okay, good morning everyone. It is obviously the next day. Um, it's currently about 7.30 in the morning and I had to leave in about like an hour or so. Um, I don't know why my parents decided to do brunch on Saturday at 10 a.m. for Father's Day, but yeah, we're going to do that. So um, I ended up did staying up a little bit later than I expected last night, like another hour or so. And I did manage to read more of this book over here. I ended up reading two more short stories. So I'm basically halfway through now. I read through three and honestly, I'm actually kind of enjoying it. They're very short. They're very sweet. Um, I'm not going to go too much into what they're about because they're short stories. And I feel like once I give you a synopsis, it's pretty much over in terms of what it's about. Um, but all I can say is that my favorite one is probably the first one so far. I just find it so whimsical and I really like the stories in that story. So yeah, and then like the third one was just awful. Um, I was super disturbed at the end and that's all I can really say about it. I mean like disturbed in a good way I guess if that makes any sense. Like it wasn't like a bad story, it was just like what happened. I was like what? Um, so yeah, that's all I can really say so far in terms of my updates. I haven't touched my audiobook since last night, but I do plan on touching that a little bit today. Um, I want to get some of my editing done. I have like one video that I'm like, I finished exporting last night and all I do left is to actually just go through it, run through it, do my thumbnails, like do all the little like, YouTube things right now before I go to brunch. And then hopefully sometime between then I can read some more as well. But that's kind of the plan and obviously I can't eat right now because we're doing brunch in like an hour and a half. So or like two and a half hours or something like that. So anyways, I'm gonna get ready for the day and then I will check back in sometime later today once I get some reading, once I do some stuff. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, so far that's my update. I'm actually kind of proud that I read more than I expected last night. Like I was expecting to just like pass out, but I ended up just like, I just got engaged with the story. So anyways, I'll check back in later. <laughs> I 
just coming back in with an update. It's been a minute since I have last updated you guys, but I have managed to read a little bit more of this book over here. I am basically at the last story right now, and I just noticed something that's like super fascinating. So like, I just thought it was like different colors for their borders, but like literally as you, you know, read the book and stuff, it is pretty much changing every single page and it grows every single page. You probably can't really see like right here, like you just saw like here and then it goes up a little bit and that's a little balloon and now it has like even more things. So it's just like constantly growing and it's like that for every single story. So I think that's actually really cool because at the end of every story there's a huge like two page um, like illustration. For example, this one over here. So they all end like this and so like the story basically as it progresses, it create these illustrations and it continues and grows it until it reaches the last two pages and it gives you this full page spread and it's actually really pretty stunning so anyways um, all I can say is that I am enjoying this book even though I read like five stories I would say my first one is still the first story and then my la my, so far my least favorite is actually the one I just read now um not a really huge fan of it so all I can say is that it reminded me of a nutcracker and if it's pretty common story um obviously with a grisha verse twist to it but yeah overall though i'm just i was not a fan of that story to be honest <laughs> i think about it. the more i think about it, the more like disappointed i am with that story like i was just like trudging through and i was like hmm um but yeah first story is still my favorite and now i'm on the last story and this one is supposed to be at fiora so i'm pretty excited about that one um i wish that there is a story here that is from Sully just because I feel like they have stories from Zemini, Ravkin, Kirch, and Fjordan and they don't have one for Sully and I feel like that's kind of a big place as well so especially we have a character who is half Sully herself so I feel like it would have been nice to get a story from that country um but all I can say for this book so far I'm going to be reading I'm hoping to finish reading this actually before I go to my eye doctor appointment because I only have a story left but this one is like a chunker because it's literally the rest of the whole book uh, is that last story. So anyways, I'm gonna check back in later. way better than I expected. It's definitely more like a fairy tale, uh, like a retelling in some ways because there were two stories in here that were very much similar or like maybe even three. Uh, the last one reminded me of Little Mermaid and one of them reminded me of the Nutcracker and then another one kind of was a stretch but reminded me of like Hansel and Gretel. So yeah, like it's definitely interesting in that sense that there were just some like retellings of modern fairy tales or like traditional fairy tales in here that were set in the Grishaverse. I would say out of the six stories, my favorite one would be the first one as well as the last one. I thought both of them were really, really well done. I was like so invested with the story. And then my least favorite one would either be The Little Knife, which is the one that I was like, I did not like that one to be honest, or the Nutcracker one. Both of I really enjoyed it. I'm not sure what to give it. Um, probably like three and a half stars or something like that because some of them were hits, some of them were misses. But yeah, overall, I'm happy that I've managed to finish my first book. It is currently 4.30, so I still have a, quite a few hours before 9 p.m. Um, but I think I'm gonna actually just extend it to 48 hours because it's been a long day. I really haven't read too much in terms of anything except for this book and this was like one of my shorter books so i'm going to try to move on to my next book which is going to be house of dragons and then i am going to be cooking tonight so i plan to listen to my audiobook while i prepare some lobster tails because i got some lobster tails last night and i'm super excited to be preparing them today i've never made lobster tails before so i'm like super intrigued with like how i'll make them um i was going to just like steam them but i think i'm going to boil them instead i heard that one's better so yeah i'm going to show you clips maybe of me making them not really sure this is not a cooking show <laughs> so like and i am not really big on cooking but um i am going to show you 
maybe like the aftermath of me cooking it and then let us know how it tastes and stuff but i'm excited for it because i've never made it before anyways i'm going back to reading and then i'm going to try to pick up house of dragons soon um another one i do want to pick up at the same time is going to be demon slayer it is on my june tbr uh it's going to be through an ebook so i will try to pick that up you know whenever i have time as well so anyways i will check back in later but at least the first book i finished the first book officially retreated back into my bedroom for the night it is about 9 p.m ish and so basically it's been like exactly 24 hours essentially actually no it's like almost 10 p.m whatever point is i finished my second book and that is head over heels um i loved it it was just everything that i wanted it was contemporary it's cute it was just super super like I was just here for it. The book was amazing, guys. I really, really enjoyed it. I just loved all the discussion about mental health. Like, it was such a huge focus about the book, as well as sexual abuse and uh, sexual assault, etc. So there's definitely a trigger warnings in here, for sure. But I just really enjoyed it. I thought it had some great messages. I really loved Avery's way of training and coaching um because she grew up with someone who was just super intense like very strict very old-fashioned kind of very very um abusive emotionally uh, when she was a gymnast herself and she wanted to avoid that completely so she did a 180 when she was training this girl and i just loved how supportive she was of this young girl who's only like what 13 or 14 years old and i don't know it was just a really really good time i also loved about the romances in this book because there's a romance obviously she you know she's working for a crush from like way back when so um as you can probably guess there's something that's budding over there and so i just really loved that as well it's like super adorable like mistakes were made some of the times there were some miscommunication some misunderstandings etc but i feel like you know end of the day it's like as long as i don't know i just feel like you can always make up for it you know like i mean not always but you know for certain things like this i feel like you know if you try hard enough if you show that you are um genuine enough it's like anything is possible and i just i was just really here for this book guys so anyways that's all i can say for this book um i'm basically settling down with a glass of wine right now and i'm probably gonna start with house of dragons next um I don't think I'm going to be listening to any more audiobooks today because I do have a lot of cooking that I want to do which by the way that lobster that I made tonight was freaking delicious I made four lobsters but it was really good super satisfied really happy first time I ever made lobster tails was delicious um so yeah anyways I'm going to settle in down now I don't know if I'm going to update you guys any more after this but I do plan to at least read a little bit of House of Dragons and possibly start Demon Slayer as well just because it's a manga I can be able to you know bust out another book at least for sure and then tomorrow when I'm doing my cooking and everything I do plan to make a lot of food tomorrow I want to make this like seaweed soup I want to make these like Korean meatballs I'm trying to make some like lunch for the rest of the week etc so I do have a lot of things I want to get done tomorrow and I also want to make banana bread so lots of things so I definitely plan to do a good chunk majority of tomorrow's reading as audiobooks so that's probably why I don't want to do any now because I want to just focus on reading physically hence House of Dragons as well as Demon Slayer hi guys so good morning it is like brutal like i woke up so late today i was exhausted like i think my body was just like you need some rest so i woke up super late um it's already like 9 30 in the morning <laughs> but i did manage to read a lot last night like i was not expecting to i did manage to finish three volumes of demon slayer so i'm super thrilled about that and it's pretty much the exact same thing as the anime um, i watched anime a while ago but not too long ago that i feel like it's you know kind of like a refresher in terms of like what happened um movie just came out i wanted to see the movie but obviously i didn't get seen in time for the theater so i'm gonna have to wait until that comes out but overall like i'm it's basically everything that happened in the anime and i'm just like really thrilled about that but anyways um that's all i can say for that anime so since i have read that it means that i have read a total of five books for this readathon i'm really thrilled about that i also did manage to pick up a little bit of house of dragons i read just a couple pages i'm on page four so like not much has happened here um but yeah i'm going to try to focus on this book today as well as my audiobook 
book which is going to be i'll be the one by lila lee this one is about uh like fat phobia and k-pop industry uh, it's about this girl who wants to go become a k-pop star but she is you know not seen as part of the korean beauty standards so i'm definitely curious as to how book this will come out um but i've heard great things i'm very excited about that this one so far i'm already intrigued like i'm already like just a few pages and i'm just like i am curious about these dragons they look super cool so i'm like hmm i love a good dragon book to be honest especially when there's like a lot of dragons in it and i feel like this one definitely will have at least at least this feels like that from the beginning As you can tell i was eating breakfast and reading um i got to page i finished the first chapter and so much has fucking happened already so this book basically follows a girl called amelia who has some sort of like she's like different i'm not sure how she's different um but somehow she has this like ability of like destruction i want to say uh, and she has to keep her power at check and then she has an older brother called alexander and i guess in the beginning they're basically preparing him to go to this calling which is what happens when the emperor dies and firstborns of like the royal houses must go in and kind of like compete before they take his place so it was supposed to be alexander who was supposed to go to the calling and just when the calling happens it turns out that amelia's own dragon shows up and goes to the rock which is like where they have a calling i'm not sure so it turns out obviously that amelia is the one who ends up being called and now she's go there and she's like no like this is not right because she's not even the firstborn she's second so i guess it's like only the firstborn that's supposed to go so her entire family is kind of like a little afraid right now well like not a little but like super afraid because they're like the embers know we're gonna be lied and this is not right and amelia herself is obviously very terrified because she's like I'm not supposed to be here. Um, I will be cut, which means that basically, like all the color competitors, I'm assuming that cut means that they die. So it's basically one winner, and then everyone who loses will be forfeit their lives. So she's like, I won't win. I will obviously die from this. Like, I'll be cut. So yeah, so much has happened already, and I'm like, what is happening? some hours as always i feel like i always start off my clips like this uh, but i have done a lot of stuff since then i've made my seaweed soup i made my meatballs for lunch tomorrow i did not make my banana bread but i also realized i'm actually working from home tomorrow so i'm like i just make it tomorrow instead so yeah and also i realized that my bananas aren't even like fully ripe so i was like i can't really make good banana bread unless it's like really really ripe bananas so that being said i'm not gonna make them today but i did manage to listen to a lot of my audiobook which is i'll be the one and so far i am 36 percent of the way through i'm listening at one and a half speed i should probably do it up to like two percent or like two times the speed but i don't know i kind of want to just like savor everything so i am doing it one and a half speed but i think i can finish it I don't know, as long as I like continue listening to it, I should be able to finish it by tonight. Um, but the thing is, I do have another Father's Day dinner thing tonight. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I want to go yet, but my parents and another family friend, as well as my sister's like 
fiance's family, whatever, are doing a hot pot tonight. So it's just like a lot of like family there. I didn't even realize we were doing that until yesterday. And they were like, yeah, actually we're doing it tomorrow. So I was like, okay. So that being said, um, that's also why I'm not really sure if I will be able to read a lot more since they're ready like 2.30 and we're leaving in like two and a half hours. So uh, if I just listen to that, yes, I can finish it. But I obviously am not going to just do that because I do have other things I want to do. Um, I might try to edit my video. Uh, I have another video that I want to do well for next week so i might want to get head started on that um but i also did read a little bit more of house of dragons i am now on page 45 so i mean i'm not making a ton of progress with this book but all i can say is that it seems to follow five different characters and all five characters are not the ones who are supposed to be chosen for the calling as was Amelia, who was introduced in the first chapter they're all kind of like outcasts in a way some of them are second borns some of them are not even part of the noble family they are you know dragon trainers or something like that some of them are like bastard sons uh so they're not even like they weren't even supposed to get like the runts of the dragon eggs because there's only a few dragon eggs so usually it's like the firstborn um noble families who get all the dragons and then the leftover ones are the ones who are given to like bastard sons if there are any or daughters or like dragon trainers etc and then they would get like you know less than ideal ones i mean good enough but not like you know the ones given to the first few kids of the noble family so so far it's interesting all right guys welcome to the end of the vlog it is about 9 p.m now sunday evening and i just want to do a recap of all the books that i read and my thoughts and currently where i'm on right now so i am still listening to i'll be the one by Lila lee according to my phone i am 44 percent of the way through so i'm almost like halfway through the book i'm actually enjoying it a lot so it's basically about a girl called sky who is definitely considered fat in korean beauty standards uh, she's definitely plus size and she decided to try out for a show called you're my shining star and she auditions for dancing as well as singing and ever since she was from her entire life her mom has been advocating her vocals and telling her like, you should sing well um just being really supportive of that but on the other side she's actually really against her dancing because she's like how do you want people to see you like you don't have the body shape for it etc like she's very demeaning in that sense whereas her dad has been very supportive of her all around but sky herself is like you know what i want to prove my mom wrong i want to prove to the world that i can dance and no matter what my body looks like so she goes on to this show because that is her dream to become a dancer and she gets in and now the rest of the book just kind of follows her journey as she's going through this competition um through the show and making sure that she qualifies at the very end and throughout the whole process she has she's dealing with a lot of different people uh some people are really nice some people are you know very very unsupportive and sends a lot of comments along her way including one of the judges who is basically super against her joining there so overall i think i'm really enjoying this book for sure it's very adorable there's also this cute guy his name is henry and i guess he's from the chable family so he's like uber rich and not only that but he's also like a model so he's pretty famous as well and he's now her partner for one of the dancing um rounds so She's getting kind of close with him, you know, just hanging out with him and stuff like that, uh, which makes sense because, you know, they're dancing partners right now and there's a lot of chemistry between the two of them, obviously. So overall, I'm enjoying this. I want to finish this book soon, I hope, uh, within the next day or two. Uh, but yeah, anyways, this is the first book. I also did manage to pick up a little bit more of House of Dragons over here. I am now on page 62, so I read a bit, but not a ton. I'm on chapter 10 right now. Um, it's basically just like I said, already following the five different characters. And so far, I'm enjoying it. I am super intrigued as to like who exactly is doing all the callings, why is the calling different this time around, and just all the different characters. So there's five of them, and they're all so, so different. So I'm super intrigued. Definitely want to know more about this book and yeah i would definitely try to finish this within this week for sure and then in the meantime i actually didn't really read a lot since i had last talked to you guys mainly because shortly after that i went out for hot pot with another like another father's day i don't know if i mentioned this already but i went for a hot pot for dinner and so by the time i got home it was like 7 30 something like that and then i was like talking to my 
parents my sister also came over so i was talking to her like we were hanging out and before then it was like 8 30 and i was like shit we must have do the next 30 minutes so i kind of listened to the audiobook for a little bit but prior to dinner i did actually finish finish two more volumes of demon slayer so i did manage to finish volume four and volume five honestly i love everything so far it's still exactly like i'm still in the whole anime um like everything has happened anime is what i'm reading right now so nothing new has happened but I cannot wait to continue the series and just kind of like find out more. Uh, there's just so much to this world. Like, I am so invested. So, anyways, that to say for this particular readathon, it was short. I did a lot. Uh, I managed to read seven books this time around. So, five volumes of Demon Slayer. I managed to finish Head Over Heels as well as Language of Thorns and by Leigh Bardigo. Uh, overall, I'm really pleased with this. I definitely want to do another readathon sometime soon. Um, I want to, I don't know if I want to do like a themed readathon or if I want to do like just try to catch up. So this is kind of what I did this time around. It was like a catch up readathon where I was trying to just like finish up the books that I was hoping to read that I feel like I just didn't really do much. But yeah, anyways, that's to say for this readathon. Let me know below if you guys have any thoughts and ideas for future readathons if there's anything that you want to see from me if you have read any of the books that i read this time around what do you guys think about that but anyways i'd love to say for this video as always if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up or if it does help on my channel and if you'd like to see more content of me please do subscribe and hit the notification bell as always don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye